Welcome back to Astro Playground. I uh, wanted to take uh, just a couple of minutes and discuss uh, some things that have changed as far as the scope is concerned. Um, I'm going to try to make this uh, video as brief as possible just to cover a couple of quick points. Um, one of the main things that, that has changed uh, is our focusing system. Um, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into that in just a second. The other thing that's changed is uh, I finally, 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 after waiting probably close to eight months um, for back order, have received the AstroZap aluminum dew shield. Um, it was a long wait, <laughs> um, but definitely worth uh, you know, getting this. Uh, this is a far superior dew shield to um, anything that I've used before, uh, including my, the ones that I've um, uh, made myself. Um, the other thing that I did is I purchased the AstroZap cover for this dew shield. The, if you own um, uh, a, a dew shield, no matter what size uh, SCT you have, um, it's the, the cap that comes with the, the scope will not fit on this. <laughs> all right, you, if you want a cap, you have to use theirs. All right, um, and this, by the way, is a, it's a very nice cap. It's very heavy gauge aluminum. Um, it's a, got a nice uh, surface here. I probably, I'm gonna have my wife design uh, a decal uh, to put on the surface here. Um, but it does uh, fit up on the um, up on the scope quite nicely, um, providing a nice uh, uh, you know cover for the uh, the the dew shield. So um, that is uh, a, a, a very welcome addition to the SCT. Uh, I, I have been suffering without a dew shield um, many nights, and uh, I'm so grateful that I now have this. Uh, the other thing that this this uh, dew shield has is the cable routing. Uh, ports for uh, using with the Hyperstar, uh, and there's four of them, uh, I believe. There are four of them, um, and uh, they they actually four. There are three of them. Excuse me, three three different ports that you can use to route cables for um, use with your Hyperstar and your your, uh, your your cameras, whatever camera you decide to use on it. Um, and this uh, is designed to work with the, with the Hyperstar, which is very nice. Um, so that being said, um, I highly recommend the AstroZap products. Uh, they have been uh, suffered uh, greatly uh, through COVID. Um, I know that the, uh, the owner of uh, AstroZap uh, had to move from Ohio down to Texas, and apparently it was not an easy move. Um, and so all of us that, that use their products have been very patient, um, and we're glad to see them back up and running. Um, and uh, kudos to Astro's app. So the other thing that has changed is our focus system. Um, I was experiencing some pretty significant uh, problems uh, using the, uh, the ZWO focuser, uh, the focus motor, with the uh, FeatherTouch Micro uh, 2.0. Um, it, was, uh, it was just not behaving uh, correctly. Um, and uh, it, it wasn't uh, a predictable uh, autofocus. Um, the, the mirror that's in this uh, SCT is very large uh, and heavy. Um, and so I needed something that I could rely on, you know, regularly. And my, uh, I, I was um, encouraged to go full on uh, feather touch. Um, and that's what we did. So uh, along with the, uh, the micro, 2.0, uh, I have added the, uh, the Feather Touch electronic focus system. Um, this system is, uh, in, it's incredibly nice in that it, um, it has several features and um, I'll take a second to show you uh, what I'm talking about as far as the features are concerned. Uh, focuser itself, the stepper motor, is a clutch-driven uh, stepper motor. And it, if I can just get into focus here, it has uh, several features that are 
quite nice um, as far as the uh, as far as the uh, the focusing is concerned. One of the one of the big things is that uh, the stepper motor uh, clamps directly to uh, the feather touch um, uh, 2.0, and it, it it's a uh, clutch driven. Goes. So the other thing that the system uh, relies on is its own drive system, its own um, uh, computer system. So the, the feather touch, the stepper motor, runs up to this control box. And the control box has its own 12 volt power, which fortunately will be run off of the Eagle up here. Um, but it also uh, it also has the, the USB connection uh, that goes uh, to the Eagle and then the, um, the data cable that comes down to the focus motor itself. Um, and it is, it is an incredibly precise system. This, uh, this focusing system has a, um, a step rate of 100,000 steps. And that allows it to, um, you know, have a, a step uh, measurement at, I think it's 0.13 microns, um, which is incredibly small. Each step is incredibly small. Um, and uh, once I figured out uh, the, uh, the settings for, uh, using the focus motor, uh, the, the focus controller connected to the Eagle and using the settings within Sequence Generator Pro and setting it up correctly, I was able to get a repeatable uh, deep V focus, um, you know, with a, uh, a good half flux radius, um, uh, you know, uh, measurement on the stars. Um, and it took a little bit of fiddling, um, and I have to give a shout out to um, Gary Marshall, um, he uh, helped me out a great deal. Uh, same with um, uh, Jason at Astro World, um, uh, of course Dan, um, and my buddy Tegan, um, Tegan Grable uh, at High Point. Um, this, uh, uh, th they, they were instrumental in helping uh, me to get this thing, uh, you know, tweaked to the point where it is repeatable in its, in its process. Um, if you have a, uh, an SCT and you're looking to do an autofocus routine, uh, I highly recommend that you look into some of the higher end focusing systems. Um, I, uh, speaking from experience, I've used the ZWO uh, now for a while. I love their cameras. Um, their, their cameras are, are excellent, um, and, but the, the focus motor, it, it, um, it works, sort of, um, but it's not, it's not the kind of pre precision and um, repeatability that I need. Uh, with this system. Um, the, the feather touch is a little bit more. <laughs> um, it, uh, the, the focus system itself, I believe, runs at around $600. And then the stepper motor, I'm, I'm sorry, the, um, uh, the focuser itself, the uh, micro, this one was, I believe, $330, right? So the whole system is right around $1,000. Now the ZWO uh, focus motor is uh, $200 um, versus this system, which is the 600. So you still need a focuser. So, you know, you're somewhere in the neighborhood of, of um, five to $600 with a ZWO versus a thousand for this. The extra couple hundred bucks <laughs> is so worth it. It is so worth it. This, this system is far superior. Um, and uh, I would, I would encourage anybody that's looking to do uh, a focus uh, system um, for a, uh, a complicated rig uh, like this to, to give serious consideration to Feather Touch uh, or even Moonlight. Um, I have several friends of mine that run Moonlight focusers, excellent. Um, and of course, you know, <laughs> the night crawlers, but you know, most people aren't willing to spend $2,500 $3,000 on a focus system. So, um, but the feather this Feather Touch system will not let you down. Um, once you figure out the, uh, the, the settings, uh, what your step rate should be, um, uh, what your step size uh, should be, all of the internal settings um, that, that, that are requisite for using the system, once you get that balanced, 
it's predictable. I run the focus routine over and over and over and over again, and I, I continue to get that deep V. Um, that is a huge weight off of my shoulders, um, having a predictable focus routine. So um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, to get uh, some, uh, some good uh, images here of the, of the focus system. And until next time, uh, from Astro Playground, clear skies. Uh, we're moving into galaxy season, so uh, keep looking up. Um, get to those dark sky sites uh, and you know, pick some galaxies uh, to, uh, to focus in on. We're actually, I am actually focused in right now on um, M51, uh, the Whirlpool Galaxy. I've got some pretty good data on that already. I'm looking to add a lot more data to that. Um, and as soon as we get some, some good weather and uh, uh, no wind, uh, we will be imaging on that. Um, uh, so, so again, from Astro Playground, uh, I'd like to wish you good health, clear skies. Until next time, bye for now.